Hello everybody, Kevin Shortell here. I have a quick video for you today on hardest hit funds. If you've been following this blog at all or attended one of my live trainings or even online trainings, you know that I've been promoting this program for quite some time now, but it does have a deadline. And I just want to do a quick update for you to let you know where things stand on this. So as a very quick review, how do I get this information? Very simple. If you Google search hardest hit funds, it will take you to the Treasury Department's website. Just go there, read about the program, go back and listen to my some of my other blogs or educational reports. And what I do with this website, I go right over here to reports. Every single month on the 10th of the month, these reports go out to Congress directly under this TARP program, Trouble Asset Relief Program, which the Hardest Hit Funds is a part of. So you can see now that the latest TARP reports are there. In fact, there's one for December 10th, which reports on November, by the way, and there's one January 10th, which reports on December. So they're always a month behind on that, but they do come out on the 10th of the month every month. Once you click on those, just go to page four. They're a lengthy report but all you have to do is go to page four. So here's page four of the December report, which again reports on November. A couple of new things here. Ohio has received approval to adjust the lien expiration dates on their mortgage uh, payment assistant program, the rescue payment program, and to move funds between admin expenses. So they'll give you any kind of heads up if there's been modifications to the programs. And of course, you can read about those in another section of the website. Also, I look here. What's happened in November? Well, it looks like North Carolina Carolina funded $60 million, those amounts are in millions, in November, and Tennessee funded $11 million in November out of their pool of funds that was given to them, obviously through the Treasury Department, to help people with their mortgage payments. Okay, so the other thing I look at then is the distribution here. And this percentage shows you how much money of what they were allocated is spent. So Alabama, for example, the first one there, they, they've got quite a ways to go. They're only at 52.9, let's say 53% uh, of the way through of spending their $86 million. Now, North Carolina in this case now is showing 100%. So they funded 60 million. It looks like they have now exhausted their funds. And by the way, that doesn't mean if you're already, your borrowers are already receiving these funds or you have a, a hardest hit fund in progress with them that's going to benefit you and your company. It doesn't mean they're out of money. They allocate that money as people are approved. Okay, so what happened uh, between November and December? So in December, once again, I look at the drawdowns there. There's no program changes in, in December. I look at the drawdown, and it looks like Rhode Island uh, spent $10 million in uh, December. And once again, if we look at the distribution, that also means now that Rhode Island is on that list of 100%. So you've got Rhode Island, North Carolina, Illinois, Florida, and California all having spent all of their funds. South Carolina is just about there, obviously, as well. And you've got Arizona at 97%. So they're all getting to that point of running out of funds. Now, who knows if there'll be another extension like there was a couple of years ago where the Fed injected another $2 billion. It'll just have to see how bad the housing market looks at the end of 2020. So are states still distributing hardest hit funds? Absolutely. They will spend all of that money because don't forget, if they don't spend that money it goes back to the Treasury Department. What state wants to give back the money to the, the Treasury Department when they have citizens that need help? So they will spend that money. In fact, they have to spend that money. If we go back to the first page here, they have to spend that money by the end of 2020. So December 31st, 2020 is the deadline for these states to spend all of that money. Any money left unspent goes right back to the Treasury Department. So the pressure is on, especially in states uh, like Alabama that really have a long way to go. They've got to start loosening those purse strings and helping people out. But some of the other ones are getting pretty close. So how much of this money goes to you depends on how active you are in those marketplaces. Look forward to talking to you again. This has been Kevin Shortell for ProSpeed Productions.